What's up everybody, Ronnie here, and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite ways to fry up some crappie. So today I caught some, caught quite a lot of crappie this morning, I should say, and I kept three of them just to make this video. So I'm out here in my garage and uh, I've got some oil in my pan here and I got my fish already filleted out and in a Ziploc bag here. And this is what we're going to do. So open up my Ziploc bag. I got an egg here. I'm gonna crack that egg and throw it in the Ziploc bag here. Throw that over there like so. Then we're just gonna mix it all up. So now that I got my egg all over my coffee, I'm gonna take this bag. And I got some Andes Red here. Now the red is a little bit, got a little bit more spice than the, I think it's the yellow. Um, but this is my favorite and uh, my family likes it and stuff like that. So we're going to open up this bag here. And we're going to pour some in this other Ziploc bag. We probably don't need all of it. I've had my, my oil heating up here for a while, so it should be good and hot. Feels good and hot. We're just going to coat that crappie filet real nice. We're going to pull them out here. We're going to lay it right in here. All right, my crappie fillet has been going for a couple minutes now. Break out the old spork. I'm going to flip it over. And you really only need about two minutes on each side. And good hot oil and it'd be done. But I like mine a little bit more crispy, so I'm gonna leave it on a little bit longer than that. Checking our piece here. You know, if this Andy's red is too spicy for you or you don't want something that has a lot of it doesn't have a lot of spiciness to it, it just has a little bit more seasoning and stuff than on a lot of people might like. Uh, you can use the Andes yellow, or you can use straight flour. You can mix flour and cornmeal. Uh, you can kind of, you know, mess around and use, some, you know, whatever you want to. And a lot of times when I'm camping or I'm cooking right there on the bank when I'm catching my food, a lot of times I won't bring eggs with me. Instead, I'll bring some hot sauce and, uh, or like uh, just like buffalo sauce or whatever, something like that. And uh, use that to coat my fish before I roll it in the breading. Makes it a little bit easier for traveling. My lovely assistant. Thank you. All right. I'm going to pull that first piece out. Let it drain there. Look at that nice crappie fillet there. Throw this one in there too. Try to scoot this one over a little bit. Mm. 
Yep, buddy. I broke this piece, so I might as well eat some. I'm not very good on presentation because I eat my food as it comes out of the fryer. So I can't even like show you a pile of like really nicely fried fish because it'll probably be gone as it comes out of here. So, so you know, this sucks for you guys, it doesn't suck for me. <laughs> All right, got some coming out. I like a little crispy. I leave it in there a little bit extra extra time than you need to just for that crispiness. Let's sit there, let it sit there. Drip. And we'll throw another one in the in the hot oil. Get her going. That's good clean fish right there. Is it tasty? You like it? Good stuff? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. That's how we like to cook fish at our house. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That's right.